information systems for the management information system series. We should be aware of what are the characteristics that my information should possess for developing an information systems. We have seen the types of information systems that we need, but to develop those kinds of systems, our information that we need has to be very perfect. So we have to know what are the characteristics of information systems. Now, characteristics for designing an information system and information should possess the first and the foremost, the content has to be very effective. If we are designing a student system where we need to keep track of a student's record, now the effective content will be that I have the complete details of student as it starts its enrollment in an institution if I want to have a complete record of a student enrollment in an institute. So my content has to be effective when I am designing and developing a system. Now, when I say an effective content, it has to be very precise. That is, if I want all the records of my student, I should be very clear that what should be my primary key, how my student has to be identified, and what are the security things that I need to keep with that precision. And it has to be relevant. Whenever I'm creating a key or whenever we are entering the data, whatever data we make or whatever data we enter has to make sense. So whenever we are designing an information system, all the data, all the tables, all the contents that comes into it in the designing part also has to be relevant with the system that we are designing. It has to be complete. That is, no loop should be left incomplete. Whenever we are traversing from one form to another or one page to another or one web link to another, none of the web links or none of the information should be left dangling. All the information has to be completed and submitted. That is a characteristic of an information that we need to have. It has to be concise. That is, I cannot leave that if I'm entering a form or I'm entering a name, I have to be very clear that my name can consist of only alphabets. But in case if somebody is entering D'Souza, then an apostrophe comes. So we have to take care of that an information of name will be a combination of only capital alphabets and small alphabets with an apostrophe. Other than that, anything else that is entered will not be accepted as an information for my field name, name. It should be well structured. That is, I have to define very clearly how my name has to be entered. Either I can have it as a first name, last name and middle name. Or if I'm entering it as a complete, I should make it very clear that there has to be a spacing perfectly done. If that is not well structured, then we can have last name, first name and then the middle name to be structured properly in the terms of tables and fields and records. The last one, it has to be well illustrated. That is, whenever we're designing an information system and it is thrown open to the people to use it, whatever field that a user gets in front of it, they should be able to justify that what they need to enter in it. If I say it is a field, then it very clearly says enter your first name. So that is how it is known as well illustrated. Thank you.